Hey, Don Willard here, your Bel Air, Maryland carpet cleaning professional. I just wanted to share a little story with you today, something that occurred yesterday in a client's home. I have a client, we'll call her Audrey, primarily because her name is Audrey. I won't share her last name, but she. there's two things you need to know about Audrey. She's very, very meticulous about her home, as many of our clients are. And for some reason, she's terrified to ever do anything with a spot. Even though I, I've given her plenty of instructions, we have the spotting guide on our website. I give her spot out, but she refuses to use it. Anytime she gets a spot, she calls us. So we're there about once a month or so. So here's the story. Yesterday I was at Audrey's house. Audrey used to have a little Cocker Spaniel, which if you're ever, this is a side note, if you're ever looking for a dog, thinking of a pet for your home, don't get a Cocker Spaniel unless you want to see lots of me because they are almost impossible to housebreak. So anyway, Audrey's Cocker Spaniel passed away several years ago. Not long ago, maybe last year, she called about a urine stain, or yellow, she didn't say urine, she said a yellow stain in her dining room on a white uh, wool area rug. So I went there and uh, it certainly looked like a urine stain, but as I said, her dog is no longer with us and she doesn't dog sit, she has no dogs in the house, so this is what we call a mystery spot. Can't figure out where did this yellow stain come from. So I treat it, I clean it, treat it. Didn't seem to have an odor, but it was very yellow. Stain didn't go away. Audrey calls back. I've been back there several times doing other work in addition to the spot, but we were there yesterday. And as I started to clean this mystery spot, it was very soapy, very sudsy, and had a lot of detergent in it. So Audrey was home, I asked her about it. And she said she has never put any kind of spotter on it, which I believe because that's the way she is. So how did the detergent get in there? Well, it turns out Audrey has a new cleaning service. She used to have, she had one particular girl that cleaned her home for years, but the girl's no longer doing it. Now she has a cleaning service that apparently doesn't speak much English. So there's a communication problem. So my theory is they've used something that's highly alkaline, which you cannot use on wool. Uh, the stronger an alkaline cleaner is, the more damage it can do to wool, and the damage often looks like urine. It's a yellowish spot. So I think that's what's happened. That's the, the, the source of the mystery spot, is that someone has been using an alkaline cleaner on it. So the moral of the story is try to get to the bottom of the spot. Try to figure out how the spot occurred. And also, don't be afraid to try uh, certain approved cleaners and you can always call us at advanced carpet cleaning if you ever have a question about a spot so we'd be happy we many times we're able to guide you over the phone and prevent a spot from becoming a stain as we've discussed in other videos so that's the story i wanted to share with you today this is don willard from advanced carpet cleaning in bel-air maryland your trusted carpet cleaning professional you can trust the pros at advanced where we clean it like we mean it right there